everyone, uh, this is Rodrigo Yosan. Welcome to another edition of the videos in Ibadan, Nigeria on All About Aquaculture, Two Sub Aquaculture Production. I'm here today with Ahmed, who is uh, a young Nigerian who with uh, some friends they have gotten together to uh, create a feed meal. So as a company that will produce uh, quality feed using local ingredients in Nigeria. So today Ahmed will take us around and share with us the type of equipment they have, uh, what type of ingredients they, they use and the type of feed they produce here. And while he will present, he will also explain us uh, the process and also the challenges they are going through. So Ahmed, welcome to All About Aquaculture. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it's my pleasure um, being here and welcome to welcome you to Ibadan and you're welcome to Fruit Tree Feeds. And what we do here, we this is where we produce our fish feed. And um, a brief introduction, my name is Oni Ahmed Adedako and I was trained here by IIT under the program of IIT Youth Agropreneurship Program where they train young um, Nigerians, young people and then they venture into um, agriculture. And for me and um, two other of my friends, we met here and then we've been able to form a team to come together to start our company called Frosty Foods. And what we do as Frosty Food is that we produce processed fish products which are well packaged and then sold to the supermarket. Our product is here in Ibadan in Lagos and the major city in Nigeria on the shelf. Anybody can get it there. And we also go into um, the fresh fish production and then now we produce um, fish feed and here you are at our fish feed and um, facility. And then um, what we do here, our food start from here, I've um, put together our raw materials, um, our formulations, put them together, then we bring them down here where this is the first point where we push them into the amami. This is an amami which we use in grinding our raw materials. Those that are inserted from like maize, like the granite cake, like the stria. Can we see some of the raw materials? Yes, we can see some of the raw materials um, over there. And here we have um, um, some certain samples of our raw materials, just a little of them. Um, this is a, a granite cake. We shot into GMC. It is made um, from when oil is being pressed out of granite. This is the remaining. And after that, um, we have this is soya bean meal, which is made when soya has been pressed, which the oil has been extracted. And then here we have uh, a maize, regular maize. And here we have is a, a product of animal protein product um, containing um, meat trimmings, bones from meat, from meat. And this is a product here. And here is a blood meal, a quality and um, blood meal, mm -hmm. and here is an hydrolyzed feather meal, mm -hmm. and here is a fish meal, a local fish meal, and then here I have a DCP, dicashion um, phosphate, and here is my um, lysine. Okay. To balance the amino acid profile. To balance the amino acid plus, um, profile, um, and here is the methionine. Methionine, okay. Also, you know, these are essential amino acid which we use um, to complement what we have from other raw materials. Uh -huh. And here is the vitamin C. Okay. And here is, is an enzyme which help in the um, digestibility of our feed and then help in the gut health of our fish which aid digestion. And here I have uh, samples of our finished feed product. This is a 2 mm feed which okay. has been which have been fed to to juveniles, to small fishes. A catfish. Catfish. African catfish. African catfish. Okay. So these are 2 mm um has been um um pelleted out and we feed these until they are big enough to be able to pick this 4 mm. These are 4 mm size um pelletized pellet feed which we use to feed them until we harvest. We feed this from when they are big enough until harvest and then our fish could grow up to 3 kg, 2 kg, I mean a fish, catfish mm -hmm. and then this is what we use in feeding okay. them. Nice. Thank you. And can you walk us through the process 
that leads to this quality feed of course af having um you know having deal with this raw materials mm -hmm. this we need to be milled using the yama milk this we need to be milled this we need to be milled to form the powder as you can see this already in their powdery form mm -hmm. so once these are milled and then we pass them to the um to the mixer so we can then work towards the equipment now Once those that need to meal are placed here in the almond meal and they've been grounded into powder, then the, the powder has been discharged through here and then it passes through this conveyor and this conveyor drops the powder here into the mixer. And this is the mixer, and what it does is it, it contains an auger which helps in mixing the feed. It contains, it contains auger which help in mixing the feed, mixing all the raw materials. Remember, only those that need to be grinded will go into the grinder. Why those are already in powder form? I mean, raw materials that are already in powder form, we place directly into this place, which then mix everything together. And once it is mixed for about 30 minutes, and then we can, and we could see that they've been homogeneously mixed, then we can release from here. And from here, um, it's been conveyed through years to... Oh, before you go further, I see those elements here. Yeah. Yes, these are magnets. Yes. So what this magnet do is to help us to trap ions that may that might have been mixed with the raw materials. Mm. So because they, we can't afford the ion to pass through um, our pelletizer, mm -hmm. as it will damage the equipment. So uh, we have the we have them here. We also have them at at that at that area also. We also have them at the other area there as well. Okay. So they are magnets okay. just to capture the iron. As you can see, there are already certain iron captured already. As you can see. Wow. And these are impurities that will stay will it, not be good and it will damage will, the. It will damage the equipment. At the then it, it yeah. shouldn't also mix with our feed as well. That's true. So. Okay. And then um, this conveyor, it conveys um, the already mixed products into this steam boiler. What this equipment does is, um, it contains water and then there is a heat source which we use to power um, as an energy to boil the water to generate steam. And once the steam is ready, it is until the steam is ready that we actually allow this conveyor to bring the feed into here and then the feed would just move from here to this place, they will have, they will have passed through the steam. Mm -hmm. By the way, this, the feed will have been pre, they will have been cooked. You see them cooked, and then um, it's been discharged here into the pelletizer. This is the pelletizer then that mold the raw materials into the plate that I've shown you earlier. Okay. So depending on what we are producing, if we are producing the two mm. All we need to change is the dye inside. We change the dye to 2 mm dye. If we are to produce the 4 mm or the 6 mm, we just change the dye to 4 mm that we want to produce. Oh, respectively. This material, all this equipment, do they do you buy them from here in Nigeria? Are they produced here in Nigeria? All this equipment are bought in Nigeria. Okay. However, all of them are locally fabricated here in Nigeria, here in Nibadon, okay. except for this sanitizer. Okay. This pelletizer is a ring dead pelletizer, it's not been produced locally, so it is um but it is important to the country where we buy it from those that import them. Okay. The country. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So anyone who wants to get something a, a setup like this can get that from Nigeria except the steam pelletizer. The steam pelletizer can also be no, the, this is steam the boiler, this is just the pelletizer. Yes. So the pelletizer is purchased here in Nigeria. There okay. is a company that is bringing it in already. Okay. So we just purchase it from there. Okay, great. Anybody that wants this equipment can get all of them, all this setup in Nigeria. Nice, nice. Okay. And once you get your material from here. Okay, once our <coughs> pilot is being discharged from here, yes. then we bring it here. Here is the dryer. Okay. So we bring them here. We, it does do two things. This dryer we can apply it we can allow a blower to blow it down here if we discover that the moisture level out of there if the steam is too much or the fees are wet to 
help us reveal the moisture content. You can, you can ask it to come in here while the blower blows hot air in here. <coughs> Why the hot air will help us to reduce the moisture level of the feed or to make it drier. Or if we see that the feed already have a good moisture content, then what we just need to do is to just allow the cool air to be blown in here. The air will be coming from other. So as we are pouring the finished pellets, then it will be cooling them off immediately. Okay. Then they will be ready for collection for bagging. Where do you yeah. collect? Can we you collect through this place? Get this open then. Okay. We pull the feed out. Then we have a sack waiting here where we bag them. Okay. And how long does it take to dry here? The, the time between the pelletizing, the finished the pelletized feed to be and to come here, uh, about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to have dried. Once everything comes out, then they are, as they are coming here, within one minute they are getting dried. Okay, and what is the moisture content of the finished product? And the moisture content of our finished product is around 9%. 9%? Yes. Great, great. So which make our feed to last longer, and then this is what we feed to the fish we produce here, and that is also the same fish that we process into smoked fish, which is available on the shelf. Okay. In major cities in Nigeria. Nice, and nice. We also have some customers, um, Whenever they are in Nigeria or whenever they have someone going abroad, they ask them to get a product, they take it over to them. Okay. The, the smoked fish. The smoked fish, yes. Smoked catfish. The smoked catfish. And also our feed, our fish feed also is being sold to farmers. We have farmers that are using our feed and they are, they are testifying to the result because um, we use quality raw materials mm -hmm. and we have the equipment and we have the knowledge, the, the, the knowledge required to produce a quality feed which is giving out results. And from where did you get the knowledge? The, the knowledge is from the IIT Youth Agrippinership Program and World Fish mm. World Support Fish. Program, yes. Okay. So the World Fish has been uh, our backbone. Mm -hmm. um, as we're coming, whenever we have challenges uh, with our formulation, with our technicalities, the World Fish has always been there for us to help us. Okay. And then we've, now we've been, we've, we've been grown to others that we now uh, undo our facility ourselves and we run our production easily. Nice, nice. So Ahmed, is this business profitable? Uh, yes, it is a very profitable business, especially when you are able to get the the required um, um, uh, the required resources to put into it to do it in a big way. And what do I mean? You need uh, raw materials, you need maize. You don't, just don't buy your maize in, in, in a bit, you know. You could get a trailer of maize, you could get a trailer of, trailer of this. You know? And with that, you'll have been able to step down the um, the cost of the raw materials, which would translate into the cost of a final product. And then uh, the feed alone, um, with okay, from, from, from well, since we started producing our, our feed, been able to reduce the amount we spend on our on feeding our fishes by about 45 percent okay um, because we used to buy the regular imported feed that we have in in nigeria so since we started this we've been able to cut that and that really play a big role um to ensure that we have been um that the cost of our finished products the fish i mean the catfish and then the processed catfish products is and it also gives us capacity to expand because we use the difference to expand for expansion to reach out to more markets. As we are, we can't even um, satisfy all our markets, and we still have a lot of demand hanging on my neck. And which we're like, okay, you need 10 cartons, okay, you can just manage with eight cartons, can manage with five cartons, just for it to go around. As mm. our product is one of the um, most, most affordable fish products in Nigeria right now. Nice. But I've noticed that you produce two millimeter and four millimeter. Why don't you go for starter feed? Why we don't go for starter feed is the equipment we have now cannot produce starter feed. Okay. Um, we are looking forward to do that. Once we have the capacity to bring in the equipment, we can afford that, then we start producing um, our starter feed. Then we know that we are sufficient mm -hmm. when it comes to um, feeding our fish from the fry level up to the tape size level. 
nice nice and now do you have like a closing remarks like a message to the youth to people who are like you and who are saying it's difficult to make a living in africa and and so on ah well um it's not difficult to make a living in nigeria and i have a message for the youth and i'll be setting myself as an example um agriculture agriculture um is you know is the black oil that every youth will would and I would advise them to tap into. Why? Because it's it is practical. You could see what you are doing, and then um, you know where it is going to. Every they, I can I've not seen someone that would tell you that they've not eaten since yesterday. Everybody must feed on something. Um, either you like it or not, you must eat something. So if that is the case, then it is natural that whoever that is into food production, that is into agriculture generally would always make life for, 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 for yourself and then you also be able to employ other people you'll be creating employment and then you'll also be comfortable I, like myself i have a family and then we are happy uh, my children and my wife my family we're happy and this is what i use in supporting my family and my parents and i've been i've been here for about seven years i've been doing this since i graduated i haven't searched for any job this is what i've been doing so if the youth can have the access to quality training and then the wonderful support from regular um, from organization institutions then I believe that the youth can we key more into agriculture as it is very much profitable thank you very much Amen. thank you for having me you're welcome once again thank you thank you so thank you for watching this video as usual I will invite you to like the video to share it and also to invite many people who are interested in aquaculture in Africa to subscribe to All About Aquaculture to Sud Aquaculture Profit Africa. Thank you and bye bye.